Hey there guys, how are you all doing? This is your Vibro again in Tech Week. So, today I am taking Phoenix OS Instinct 4 ka review. So, Phoenix uh, ROC Instinct 4 is here. That was released like the day before yesterday, I guess. I wasn't that much sure of just reviewing it, but like most of my subscribers, they were just requesting me to make a review of it. So, I just thought of it. I was pretty much happy with VIP console 2.0, but yeah, here's the video it is. I did install it over into my system and I did try it out. And let's go to the about tablet and show you what all things have been changed. So the model, it says it's V12 X64. I have a ROC Instinct 4, Android version 7.1.1 pay based and security patch updates. It's still the old one. Kernel is 4.13.5. And OpenGL, you can see the Mesa 17. And that's pretty much it in the About tablet. So now let's get into the website from where I just downloaded and from where you can download it as well. So here it says that uh, Phoenix uh, RC Instinct 4 is pretty good. So let's take a look at the thing is based on 2.5.3, which means that there is no ads or whatsoever. और यहाँ पे security risk only tablet mode is available पता नहीं ये मुझे समझ में नहीं आया है बहुत लोग बोलते हैं कि tablet mode में hack हो रहा है मतलब ban हो रहे हैं PUBG में पर यहाँ पे तो Voltrix ने he has just released a tablet mode only I don't know and he also says that the system is detected as emulator in some games and stuff like that do not play on PUBG mobile with main account Hmm. If you want to play on the main account, you can go to the VIP console 2.0. It's very safe. There are many people in the Discord server. Mein really like, uh, it's really good. You know, like you should go for VIP console 2.0. It is really good. Till now, the number of people that has complained about hack, uh, about getting banned is really, really low. Like I play in it like every day, but still, I haven't been banned yet. But I don't know if you want to use Phoenix ROC Instinct 4, you should not use the main account as said by this developer who is Voltrix. And also change log is GFS is updated okay and added COD global. Hmm. Pirse Kali Chaya Pariye made a PC pay. And some security patches applied, every room exposed, fixed display resolution. Okay, up kagar kuch display ka resolution ka kuch problem ta pehle yape fix kardia gai. So the version that I have installed over here is V12. I have two here, V12.2 or 12. And for me, I have installed the V12. And also with the kernel version 4.13. If you don't know what is the difference between 4.13 and 4.11, well, 4.13 is for like newer versions of PCs, like newer PCs, like newer systems. And if you have an older version or older system, you should definitely go for kernel version v uh, 4.14, 4.14. Yeah, that's really good for your old school PC. And if you don't know what Mesa 17 and Mesa 18 is, Mesa 17 gives you the best performance in PUBG and also other games as well. But Mesa 18 is also good for games like Call of Duty. I said, but I did try, but then I Call of Duty and yeah that's pretty much it it's the download links will be there in the description so you can go ahead and download it up installation video will also be there in the description go ahead check them out as well other than that everything is just quite similar and there is not much difference you can also get the installation guides for different kind of things and stuff like that and uh, if Voltrix is watching this video i would suggest him to make a discord server because that will really help all the kind of uh, users to just get in contact with the developers themselves uh, like all the other mods of any so as the developer is like close in touch with uh, all the all his fans so keeping this aside i didn't install much of the application i just installed the screen recorder app the google play games call of duty and PUBG Mobile, our favorite PUBG Mobile. There is not much of a bloatware that you can see. It's a pretty streamlined version, so it's really great. You know, there is no apps that is using up your uh, precious resources and stuff like that. So, let's Call of Duty run karke dekhte hai. Main aapko pehle boli diya hai. Kali chai padi hai. Aap dekhi sakte ho. Black screen. 
And I don't know why this game just doesn't run over into my PC. Maybe, I don't know. It doesn't support in my system. It's fine. And uh, other than that, let's try on PUBG Mobile and it runs. You know, like out of the box, I got around like uh, smooth and ultra frame rates. Uh, let's just take a look at how the gameplay is and I'll be just continuing the recording once the game is loaded. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so the, now the game has finally loaded. You can see the emulator detected. Your team will be... Alright, you know what it is written. Here, see, guys, don't go to the comment box. Don't go to the comment box. Don't go to the comment box. Don't go to the Stuff like that. Just don't go ahead to the comment box and just uh, bombard me with the comments like, is there emulator detection? This, that. Just watch the video, man. Come on. I am not that much boring. You will be loving me the way I am. Okay, hitting okay. And you can see the Metal Storm is now available. We're not interested in this. And other than that, like, uh, uh, you can see, let me go and just auto hide. Yeah, let me go to the settings and let me go to graphics. You can see we're getting smooth and extreme. And this is my, like, the account in which I play uh, with only one of my friends. So I just play it here. And uh, what to say, yeah, it's running quite fine without any kind of hiccups. There is a game helper, you have a game helper behave. But don't use your primary account. I just played a few games over here. I was really scared, you know. And um, yeah, if you are interested in checking out VIP console 2.0, link will be there. The review link will be there as well. And also the installation video. So without further ado, you can go ahead there and just take a look at it yourself. And that's pretty much it, guys. This was the video here. There is no such reason for you to upgrade to this version. You know, if you are in Phoenix VIP console or Dark Matter or any version of Phoenix ROC previously, or the official version, there is no reason for you to update to this one. There is not much big updates that is just jaw dropping updates that will just help you to better uh, the performance of the game will be good or stuff like that. There is nothing. It's just, I don't know why this update is here. And yeah, it's totally, for me, it's totally useless. And if you want to try, obviously the download links and everything I'll be linking down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys really like what I do, please go ahead and hit the like button. सब्सक्राइब करें, शेयर करें और जो भी आपको पूछना आप लोग पूछ सकते हो। यू कैन फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम, डिस्कॉर्ड, वेरेवर पॉसिबल। एंड दैट्स प्रीमियम चेंज। थैंक यू, हैव अ ग्रेट डे, गॉड ब्लेस यू ऑल एंड पप 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 बाय।